Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Oxford Montreal 4.0 textile jacket and jeans. Oxford's Montreal series of textile kit has been around since 2015 and it's become very popular with riders who want great value for money. This is the fourth generation of the jacket and the jeans, as the title 4.0 would suggest, and both have a lot to live up to. The third generation of Montreal has been very popular thanks in part to a Best Buy award from Ride Magazine for being the best value textile touring combination in their group test. The new jacket launches with a recommended retail price of £159.99. That's a tenner more than the jacket it replaces, the Montreal 3.0, but it's still a very respectable price, especially considering the spec level. The matching trousers, £129.99, so for a few pence under 290 quid, you can have a decent waterproof textile touring combination. So let's run through the key elements that make this jacket what it is. The outer for the Montreal 4.0 is made from high density polyester to provide abrasion resistance. It's reinforced in key areas with ripstop material which you'll find at the elbows, the shoulders and also around the back of the neck. It's backed by Oxford's dry to dry breathable waterproof membrane. That membrane is rated as a 10,000 millimetre static head for waterproofing and 20,000 grams per 24 hours on breathability. Without getting too technical, that means it can resist a 10 metre column of water from the outside and it can shed 20,000 grams of vapour from the inside over every 24 hour period. That waterproofing figure is respectable enough for the price and the breathability rating is also pretty good. That dry to dry membrane is what's called a drop liner, so the membrane is loosely attached to the inside of the jacket. The idea of that is that the outer shell will eventually saturate, but the water that creeps through and gets from that outer liner towards the inside will then be stopped by the membrane so it can't reach your skin. It's worth retreating the outer every so often with what's called DWR or durable water repellency, and that helps delay that saturation point. If you've ever had a new textile jacket and you see the water bead up on it at first and then over time that beading process stops and then the water eventually soaks through the outside, that's because you need to retreat it with water repellency spray. There are six zipped vents on this jacket, that's two each at the chest, two at the forearms by the wrists here and another two on the back. They're easy to open and the chest vents here have handy elastic loops which mean you can hold that vent apart to allow more air to flow through. Remember though that with a jacket with a drop liner, air has to pass through the membrane, so cooling with this will always be less effective than a jacket where you can either remove the membrane or have it laminated to the outer shell. But remember you also have to pay more for those features, so it's quite common for a drop liner to be on a jacket of this price. The fastener is a chunky zip with a storm flap across the front and then the collar does up with a popper. You get a choice of two poppers to secure it against, so you can decide whether you want a tight or a loose fit. And there's also a hook here an elastic loop so you can pull the collar back and give yourself a little bit more room around the throat. The cuffs on this jacket, they open up wide enough to fit thick winter gloves inside and then they secure with, by doing the zip back up and then also fastening this Velcro panel around to keep it tight. There are Velcro adjusters to alter the fit of the biceps to make sure that it fits properly around the arms. There are belts at the waist and then there's also a draw cord to pull the bottom hem tight. That outer also has accordion stretch panels. It's not all that common in textile jackets to see that, so that gives plenty of flex too. And you get those above the elbows and also just behind the shoulders at the back. So pockets, there are three pockets on the outside of this jacket. That's two at the hips, and they also have side entry. So you can tuck your hands in there to keep them warm when you're not riding. And this is a touring jacket, so biking rules suggest it must have a pocket at the lower back for maps or something like that and Oxford have obeyed that motorcycling law and there is a pocket at the lower back if that's something you need. On the inside, there are two further pockets, including a Napoleon pocket just behind the zip here. It's best to use those pockets to keep your stuff dry because that means it's protected and it's behind that waterproof membrane. There's a full sleeve thermal liner that comes with the jacket. It is removable and there's a duplicate pocket in there. So you'll always have two internal pockets whether you're riding with the liner in or out. The standard armour that comes with this jacket is at the shoulders and the elbows and it meets the basic level one of CE. There is a pocket for an Oxford back protector insert, but you'll need to budget an extra 22 quid if you want the basic level one insert or another 30 quid for the more protective level two version. So that armour contributes to an overall CE safety rating for this jacket of level A. That's the most basic rating, but there's no shame in that. And there are jackets that cost three or four times the amount that this costs that meet that same level single A. 
My matching Montreal 4.0 trousers have a very similar construction to the jacket and they come with CE Level 1 armour for the knees. Those trousers, they're available in three different leg lengths, which isn't common in trousers of this sort of price. It's £129.99, and it means those trousers are much more suited to riders who don't have the standard 32-inch inside leg. I've used this combination, the jacket and the trousers, for a couple of hundred miles while riding a Suzuki V-Strom 650 adventure bike. I found in the height of summer, when the temperature was up towards 30 degrees, during a recent heat wave that it got a bit too warm, but that's to be expected from a jacket of this spec and this price. A removable membrane would make the jacket more versatile for different weather conditions because you could take it out when it's really warm, but it would also make the jacket more expensive. For a decent waterproof jacket that covers the vast majority of riding conditions we face here in Britain for year round riding, I can see the Montreal 4.0 picking up and taking off exactly where the Montreal 3.0 leaves off. I hope that tells you all there is to know about the Oxford Montreal 4.0 textile jacket and jeans combination. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.